Hi folks! Football News Channel is back with yet another episode of Breaking News. Today we have Man City's first clash of the season against the unstoppable Arsenal squad. Press like and write who do you think will eventually win the game in the comments below. Chelsea are working on a deal to sign Leon right back Malo Gusto. However, Lagoon president Jean-Michel Olas assures that the 19-year-old defender will finish the season in France. Liverpool prospect Stefan Bajcetic has penned a new long-term deal with the club. Thibaut Courtois substitute Andre Luning is not at all happy to be on the bench for the Copa del Rey. He could leave Real Madrid in the summer. The 30-year-old forward, Karel Toko Akambi, has switched from Lyon to Rennes on loan until the end of the season. Everton's young star, Anthony Gordon, missed the team's training session. He has agreed personal terms with Newcastle United and is pushing for a transfer. Sporting CP right back, Pedro Porro is one step closer to join Tottenham Hotspur. He has agreed to a five-year contract and the clubs are close to conclude on players' transfer fee worth 45 million euros. Real Madrid have finally decided to exercise their option on buying back left-back Fran Garcia from Rayo Vallecano for 5 million euros. Carlo Ancelotti's son, Davide, who is also his assistant manager at Real Madrid, could be appointed as Everton's new head coach, in case the Tofis fail to reach an agreement with Marcelo Bielsa. Centre-back Yusuf Ndai Shimiye has moved from Istanbul Beşiktaş Shahir to Nice for 11.5 million euros. Inter Milan goalkeeper Jonas Radu has signed for Liga One side Acer and loan for the rest of the 2022-23 campaign. He represented Cremonese in the first half of the ongoing season. Southampton have recruited right back James Bray from Luton Town. Bournemouth have offered Roma 30 million euros for Nicolo Zaniolo, though the Italian is looking for a move to AC Milan instead. Real Madrid are exploring the possibility of signing West Ham United leader Declan Rice. Carlo Ancelotti is a big fan of the Englishman's talent. Chelsea have no plans to keep their new goalkeeper Gabriel Slonina on the loan in Chicago. He will return to the pensioners soon. Former Barca striker Malcolm could be on the move to PSG from Zenit. USMNT defender John Brooks has terminated his contract with Benfica and joined Hoffenheim. David Alaba has missed the duel against Atletico Madrid due to a minor injury. His participation in the tie against Real Sociedad is also in doubt. 38-year-old Thiago Silva has agreed terms on a contract extension at Chelsea for next season. Raheem Sterling has taken part in some light individual training work as he ups his return from an injury. Representatives of Juventus midfielder Weston McKinney have already arrived in London for talks regarding the American move to Arsenal or Leeds United. Everton defensive midfielder Amadou Onane has rejected Chelsea's offer. He intends to finish the season with the Toffees. Chelsea could lose Kai Havertz in the summer transfer window if they fail to qualify for the Champions League. The Blues will ask from 50 to 60 million euros for the player's services. Wolverhampton Wanderers have acquired goalkeeper Daniel Bandley from Bristol City, while Joe Saw's substitute Matija Sharkic was sent on loan to Luton Town. Marcelo Bielsa flew into London for face-to-face -face talks with Everton management. He is the favorite to replace the sacked Frank Lampert. Felipe Coutinho has no intention to leave Aston Villa and join Corinthians in the winter. He expects to get another chance to make it to the first team. Wigan Athletic sacked Colo Torre as head coach of the team. Under his leadership, the Latics did not win any of their seven championship games. Brahim Diaz has decided to ditch Spain and switch his international allegiance to Morocco. He will be present in Morocco's next training session. Barcelona are considering the possibility of selling the rights to the club channel Barca TV. This is necessary in order to increase the wage cap. Mauricio Pochettino, Joachim Lowe and André Villas-Boas are the priority candidates for the role of the new Belgian national team coach. Ansane Maximin would like to leave Newcastle United and has offered himself to AC Milan. Barcelona are eyeing 19-year-old Atalanta forward Rasmus Hoyland as the Catalans need a backup for Robert Lewandowski. AC Milan are not gonna buy AS Roma midfielder Nicolo Daniello. 
FC Schalke 04 have signed centre-back Moritz Jens on loan from Celtic. Arsenal are plotting to get Real Sociedad leader Martin Zubimendi, whom Barca are interested in. The White and Blacks ask 60 million euros for the Spaniard. Atletico Madrid have scored against Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu for the first time since 2018. Here are the results of yesterday's games. Moving on to the main news of the release. The atmosphere around the Madrid Derby was tense enough even a day before the match kickoff. An inflatable doll wearing a Vinicius Jr. shirt appeared on one of the bridges in the Spanish capital on the morning of the Derby. The fans also unflirted a banner that read, Madrid hates Real Madrid. Real Madrid and the Football Federation of Spain strongly condemned the actions of Atletico supporters. Los Colchoneros is likely to face a fine. Nevertheless, Vinicius had masterfully responded to his haters on the pitch. The first half was totally won by the Indians, who took the lead thanks to Alvaro Morata's accurate shot. However, Rodrigo succeeded in sending the battle into extra time in the 79th minute. Then, Stefan Savic reduced the Atletico squad to 10 men in the 99th minute, while Benzema put Real ahead with a brilliant assist from Vinicius. In the end, the Brazilian himself secured the victory for the Marengis. Cristiano Ronaldo's start in Saudi Arabia seems very difficult to take. He did not score in his debut game, and in his second match, Al Nasser got knocked out from the country's Super Cup, losing 3-1 to Al Ittihad. Ronaldo has not left a mark with a single productive action once again. Al Nasser fans still believe in their new star though, preparing an incredible choreo in his honor. Alright, back to the main news of the day. Cristiano Ronaldo was greeted with Lionel Messi chants from Al Idihad fans during Al Nasser's Saudi Super Cup game on Thursday. Upon arriving at the King Fahd International Stadium for a Saudi Super Cup clash against Al Idihad, Al Nasser's new forward received a rather surprising reaction from the home crowd. Ronaldo, who has been treated like a king since making a big money move to the Middle East, was greeted by chants for his rival Messi. The legendary Zinedine Zidane could reportedly be in the line for a stunning return to Real Madrid. There is a strong possibility that Carlo Ancelotti will pack his bags in the summer and the Frenchman could take the vacant place. Zizou wanted to lead France, but the Le Bleu board see future only with Didier Deschamps. Options with Juventus, Olympique Marseille and other international teams sound not so attractive to Zidane's preferences. This could be his third visit to the Santiago Bernabeu as a manager. 15 more Serie A points could be deducted from Juventus due to their salary maneuvers. We are talking about hidden agreements with footballers concluded between the 2019-20 and 2020-21 seasons. Players who took part in frauds could face a one-month suspension. Among them are Paulo Dybala, Wojtek Szczesny, Matis De Ligt, Leonardo Bonucci, and even Cristiano Ronaldo. If the decision is taken, Juventus could be dropped to the relegation zone. Bernardo Silva, Joao Cancelo, Ilkay Gundogan, Kyle Walker, and Emerick Laporte are not satisfied with their current role at Manchester City squad and are considering options to pursue their careers somewhere else. Barcelona would like to have all mentioned footballers in the roster, thus Blaugrana could try to acquire a few of them in the summer. Real Madrid continue to dream of Kylian Mbappe's transfer. Moreover, Las Blancas did not even allow the option of exchanging the Frenchman for one of their leaders, Vinicius Jr., in the near future. PSG would like to see Vinicius in their team, but the clubs have not held any substantive talks yet. Lionel Messi completely excludes the possibility of his return to Barcelona. The world champion is happy at PSG camp, and the renewal of his contract until the summer of 2025 will soon be announced. His return to FC Barcelona is impossible, journalist Alfredo Martinez noted. The stellar Argentine is also not interested in a move to Inter Miami. Guys, check out the suggested videos from our other projects. Have a good time watching and see ya in a bit.